Hi, you guys. It's Alyssa. I am back with another reading today. So um, today's topic is going to be an updated um, no communication reading. Okay. Um, I've been meaning to do another one of these for a while now, but um, I've been busy with, you know, my regular job and also you guys have been keeping me kind of busy with private readings lately so um, I just haven't had uh, as much time or a mental energy to um, do uh, general reads for the for the channel as I would like but I'm going to try to get back uh, onto a regular uh, schedule okay I was uploading like twice a week I'm gonna try to get back to that so um, <clears throat> We've got four options today. Option number one is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Option number two is the chemistry card. Option number three is past life relationship. And option number four is codependency. Okay, so choose the card that is calling your name the most and uh, we are going to go ahead and get started with group number one all right guys okay group one if you chose the heart-to-heart -heart conversations card um what's going on with your person why hasn't there been no contact lately so um I want to start with the overall energy here on the bottom of this deck is the King of Cups. So, King of Cups, as we know, is a card that is all about, um, you know, very deep emotions, okay? Um, very strong feelings, lots of love. There's definitely a ton of love in this connection, I think. Um, we just have so many positive cards here. Um... And it's like, I'm getting the sense that you, the person you're asking about um, wants to communicate with you. They do have things that they want to say to you. They do have things that they want um, from you, uh, that, that they want to do with you. Like, you know, in terms of progressing this, you know, your relationship. But... <clears throat> It's interesting. I'm getting a really strong sense of like something, possibly something karmic going on. Not to say that um, your relationship with each other is karmic. I don't think that's the case, but they are going through something possibly karmic, something... Um, the situation is being divinely guided, I feel, anyway. Uh, so... I'm going to start with these cards up here. First, the first two cards that came out were um, the Star card and Judgment. So these are two cards that are very, um, they really indicate to me that there is a soul connection between you and this person. Um, the Star card is one that always makes me feel like, you know, whatever the situation is, it is being divinely guided. And the Judgment card, it, it, this is a card that talks about renewal. This is a card that talks about rebirth and healing. So I feel like your person hasn't been communicating with you because they are trying to... They're undergoing some kind of change, some kind of transformation right now that is like being mandated by the universe. Because um, we also have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. So Wheel of Fortune is another card that has a lot of very strong, um, uh, like, divine energy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like your person is being pushed um, along right now by the universe. Okay, there's something that they are meant to be doing right now, something they're meant to be learning right now. There's some kind of changes that are going on in their life right now that are, you know, being um, 
that are divinely influenced, okay? The Eight of Wands, uh, this card can talk about communication, but it also is about change, okay? Action. So I feel like there are a lot of changes going on in your person's life, in their uh, inner life, you know what I'm saying? Like, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, okay? <clears throat> I'm growing pains. That is, uh words that I'm hearing right now, growing pains there, they are trying to, they're in the process of growing right now, um, awakening to, possibly awakening to, like, their higher, their own, like, higher consciousness, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's interesting, uh, and that is, like, <clears throat> that's what we have here for the the reasons why they haven't been communicating with you and you know the the um the things that are occupying their time right now so i mean i definitely feel like you know whatever this awakening is whatever this transformation is that they're going through um they're not I feel as if they are trying to create more space in their life for you. More more space in their life is being made to, to put you in. Um, I feel as if in the past they were not in a position to give you what you needed, okay? Um, <clears throat> they they couldn't they couldn't reciprocate, they couldn't they couldn't commit to you the way that you deserved. They couldn't. Um, they couldn't give you what what you what they wanted to give you. Um, and and now they are. They're they're growing. They're learning so that they will be able to do that in the future. They they'll be able to be the person that you need them to be that you want them to be, in the future. Does that make sense? Okay. There's there's just a lot of. Um, you know, really, really like, I want to say big energy, which kind of, that's pretty vague, but it, it's like, you know, this is, like I said, this is being mandated by the universe. So like this does have, it, it serves a higher purpose, you know, what, what's going on with them. Um, do they want to contact you? Yes, definitely. We have the 10 of pentacles here. Okay, so this is, again, another card that talks about, like, this card talks about, you know, family life, um, wish fulfillment, happy home, you know, domestic stuff. Um, so it's like, I really feel like they want to have that kind of thing with you. So, yeah, they do want to contact you again. Um... And then we also have the Six of Cups. This card is like, this is another soulmate card. And um, in this position, it's like, it's kind of an indicator of like their intentions for you, for, for the connection with you. So it's like, I feel as if this person definitely like wants to be committed to you and they want to like have like a family with you almost. Um, because this card, it talks about, you know, memories, nostalgia, childhood, but, you know, for me, there's also that association with children in general, so I think it's a strong possibility that this is somebody who does care about you very deeply and they want to create something with you, such as a family, all right? Um, they may actually already feel as if you're family. You know what I'm saying? It could be, like, they may not, like, consciously think of it that way, but it might be that, um, when they think about you, they just feel so warm and fuzzy and nice inside, and it's, like, they miss you a lot, okay? They miss you a lot. Um, because they, Six of Cups is also telling me that they do think about you a lot. So... Um, as far as the potential outcome, we had three cards come out. We had the Ten of Swords, 
So this card is not such a good card to get, but you know, in this case, I feel like, so the 10 of swords is about heartbreak and sadness and pain. Um, but because it's a 10, you know, the 10 is the end of the cycle. Okay. It's the final step in, um, the, the cycle of the pain and suffering that the 10, the, the swords, um, talk about. So it's like, it's like these negative feelings, this, this pain that you're going through that I feel like both of you are probably going through is going to be coming to an end. And <clears throat> these growing pains that your person is going through are going to lead into a new start. Okay. It's like, this old energy is going to die out. It's going to come to an end. And your person is in the process of, you know, doing that transformation. And once their old ways of thinking, and once their old, um, I want to say energy dies out, they're going to be reborn. And, you know, going back to this judgment card. And um, once that happens, you guys are going to be able to start something new together. Okay. The Fool. This is about new beginnings. Um, setting out on a new adventure, you know, because life is an adventure. And every adventure is more fun with other people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, so that's like a really kind of a a beautiful reading, I think. Um, as far as timing goes, okay. We have the temperance card that came out for the timing for um, when you might hear from this person next. <clears throat> now, the number on this card is 24. So 24 could have some significance. So it could be like the 24th of the month. It could be 24 days. It could be 24 weeks. That's kind of a long time, but you know. Um, however, I'm getting strongly like, <clears throat> I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing like wetlands. Okay, I know this is, uh, the bird on this card is like a crane or something, and a lot of times they, you know, show up in, like, wetland areas, and I'm seeing that a lot, so, I don't know if that means anything to any of you, <clears throat> but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing water, I'm seeing marshes, I'm seeing, uh... I'm hearing like February or March. So if you're watching this like around the time that it's uploaded, you know, this it's it's mid January right now, so like February or March could be when you hear from them again. If it's after that time when you're watching this, I would still I I'm still going to say maybe 2 to 3 months, okay? So that's kind of just a general time frame for when you can probably expect to hear from them again. Okay, um, February or March, or just like, I'm going to say like one and a half to three months from the time you're watching this. All right. Um, and then we also had a couple Oracle cards. We got communicate clearly and we have you're ready. So this card tells me that, um, yeah, it's pretty clear to me that there will be communication coming in the future. And, um, I feel like your, your person is almost ready. Like they're almost there. They've almost finished this transformation. They're, they're close. They're getting close. Okay. So, you know, um, give them give them the benefit of a doubt because I, I, I feel like they, they're still thinking about you a lot and they miss you a lot. And, but they know that they're, um, they can't be what you need them to be right now. 
And that's, that's really the gist of why you're not in contact, I think. <clears throat> they don't want to disappoint you. They don't want to, um, they don't want to make things between you any more strained than they already may be, okay? <clears throat> so, group number one, that's your reading. Um, I hope it resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and we're going to move on now to group number two. All right, group two, if you chose the chemistry card, why has your person not been in touch with you? What's going on with them? Okay, so there is a strong sense of waiting here, which, I mean, it makes sense considering the subject of this reading. Um, I think all of you are probably waiting, you know, waiting to hear from your person of interest but in this spread in particular I'm I mean okay we have the hanged man here this is um, their uh, their energy okay so the hanged man is about stagnation it's about delays it's about it can be about indecision um, for the overall energy in this situation, we have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is about, you know, sadness, it's about grief, it's about loss. So, um, it, it feels as if you two, uh, your person is feeling, um, your absence, okay? because you're not in contact with each other, they are feeling your absence from their life. And that is hard on them. But it's like, I almost want to say, um, it's kind of their fault that you're absent from their life. Um, for some of you, that's what I'm getting here. Because on their part, I'm feeling, uh, a strong sense of indecision, like I said. We also have the Three of Wands here. This card um, is another card that can be about waiting. It's like, you know, on the in the traditional tarot, the picture on the card is it's like a, a person, you know, standing um, overlooking the water, and you know the the concept is like they're waiting for their ships to come in, you know. Um, so. Also, with this being a three, this can indicate a third-party situation, which normally I don't like to bring that up unless I feel like it's really applicable because, you know, some people, you know, it, I, I mean, some people can get freaked out by that. And I, I find that a lot of times there's, you know, there's, there's just no need in bringing up, you know, negative stuff like that unless it's 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 uh, I feel like it's really applies and in this case I do because we also have the king of wands the king of wands is um king of wands is kind of a player to me like he likes to play the field he likes to um he likes to know what's available to him and he likes to remain available okay and wands, of course, are a very sexual kind of energy, so I feel like your person could be trapped um, because they're unable to make a decision about whether they want you or another person. Um, so... And I'm getting the sense that you may not be aware that there are other people involved because down here we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is about deception. It's about secrets. Um, but in this particular deck, it kind of makes me... Uh, it makes me feel more like, you know, somebody coming clean about something. Because in this picture, you can see this guy is like... He looks, he kind of looks like he's coming out of the coffin. So it's like he's emerging from, you know, his sneaky kind of ways to, you know, bring the truth. All right. 
Um, and we do have the Knight of Swords here. So I feel like they want to contact you. They want to get in touch with you. Um, because the Knight of Swords is, you know, it's very much a card about communication for me. The Knight of Swords is about clarity and truth. Um, and we also have the Six of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So... I feel like your person intends to, you know what? Okay. So for some of you, your person wants to try to keep, um, they want to try to maintain the relationship with you as well as whatever, whatever else this third party might be. So it's like, they don't want to choose. They don't intend to choose. They want to try to put, they want to try to balance both things, you know, you and whatever else they're involved in. Because we have this, this three of pentacles, because it's a three, again, it can be about third party situations. And in the, in this image, you can see this guy is like watering his plants and it's like, he's trying to, he's trying to, you know, help all of his plants grow. And, um, I feel like that's kind of what your person wants to do. They want to tend, they want to put effort into both situations that they're dealing with, um, because they don't want to have to choose between them. Does that make sense? It's like, for a lot of you, I feel like it's, for them, it's you and something else, another person or another thing. I don't know, but that, um... That only is going to apply for some of you. Um, I don't think that is relevant to the majority of you, just a few. Uh, and if you know, or, or if that if that applies to your situation, I feel like you'll probably know. Um, but anyway. And then with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, this card is about victory and success and recognition. So... Again, this is kind of just emphasizing the fact that they, 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 they do want to come towards you again. And they, they want to come clean about things that they may have been hiding from you. And for the potential outcome, we have the Two of Wands. So this is like somebody making a decision, okay? Um, we, go from, we go from three to two. All right, so I do feel like your person is going to end up making a, the decision to choose you or something else, and they're not going to continue trying to, you know, uh, they're not going to keep putting it off, you know. And if if they choose you, then then you'll know because you'll they're going to come back towards you, and and you're going to be able to have some good talks and clear things up with each other and hopefully move on from whatever this situation is. It feels kind of complicated for a lot of you guys. Um, so I'm just doing my best to um, interpret this in a way that will be applicable for the collective. Um, now, as far as timing for when you might hear from them again, we had two aces come out. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So, um, for a lot of you, I feel like it could be one month. Okay. Um, because for some reason, Aces just make me feel like one month. Again, because they're Aces, you know, it's like new starts, new beginnings. Um, and we also had new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take, and we have believe in the impossible. So some of you guys maybe um, have been thinking about giving up on this situation or thinking that your person is never going to decide on what they want. And this is basically telling you, like, even though it seems impossible that you're ever going to get anywhere with this person, um, you are. You know, things will improve if you... You know, if, I mean, if that's what you want, if you want them to improve with your person. Um, and then with this card, it's like, I feel like the person that you're asking about um, has been someone who in the past has been a taker more than they've been a giver. 
And I feel like when they come back around, they're going to have changed in that regard. They're going to um, be... They're going to, they're just going to, they're going to suck up much less of your energy and, and give back a lot more than they have in the past, okay? So, group two. Um, I think that just about covers it. I think that's all the messages that I am getting here. I can't remember what I said about this five of cups. But overall, it's like... You guys who chose this group, I'm definitely sensing a lot of sadness pertaining to this situation. It's like, I mean, it's, which is understandable because, you know, we all, um, we all want to feel wanted, you know, we want to be chosen by the people that we care about and that we love and stuff. And, and when we don't feel wanted by the people we love, it's like, it sucks. Um, so... I feel like that's kind of the energy that a lot of you guys are in who chose this option. Um, but just, you know, I think you will hear from this person pretty soon. Like I said, probably about a month from the time that you're watching this. And you're going to be able to um, get onto the same page. And I, I do feel like your person's going to ultimately choose you. And... Or, or, I mean, even if they don't, you know, you're going to be able to find some closure in this situation, which is really all that really matters, okay? All right, you guys. So, group two, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope this resonated with, you, with your situation. Feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about this reading. I do love to hear from you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number three. All right, group three, if you chose this card, past life relationship, what's going on with your person? Why have they not been in communication with you? And will you hear from them? Okay, so um, your, your person's overall energy is this nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles is like... This card's about independence, okay? So, I feel like your person, or it could be you, you or your person, or maybe even both of you, um, are kind of just trying to make the most of this time that you are separated from each other, okay? Um, not to say that anybody is, you know, out, like, getting involved with other people necessarily, but I just feel like you're trying to make the most of it in terms of, like, having a good time, you know, not not dwelling too much on what this issue is, okay? Not thinking too much about the fact that you're not talking to each other. Um, you're... I'm, I'm getting the feeling that somebody believes very strongly that someone else needs to apologize, okay? Because we have the judgment card here for um why they've not contacted you so it could be that they think that you need to apologize for something or vice versa um take it however it applies to you um and anyway whoever this is um it, they feel very stubborn okay um, could be a fire sign, because we do have Knight of Wands here, but it doesn't have to be. It just could just be somebody who's very stubborn, who's very kind of set in their ways. And it's like, they don't want to give in, you know, because they believe that you need to apologize to them. Or, like I said, it could be reversed. Take it how it resonates. Um, but your person, I, I, I really feel strongly that... For most of you guys, it's your person who feels this way um, because, you know, they are in this kind of like Knight of Wands kind of energy. They're kind of, like I said, trying to have a good time, trying to um, make the most of this, this, this time apart, you know. They're not trying to dwell too much on this situation, but they kind of are. It's like, you know, they're going out, they're trying to make a point to have a good time. It's like... It's like, I'm going to have fun, even if it kills me. That kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? 
so it's like they're, you know, they're going about their business, um, trying to enjoy themselves, but there's, they're still kind of angry about whatever this situation is that happened between you, um, and they just can't quite let it go, okay? Now, do they want to contact you? Yes and no. Like I said, I feel for a lot of you, they think that you need to apologize to them and they are, you know, they're not going to give in. They don't want to give in. You know, they don't want to be the one who reaches out first because they think that it should be you. Um, you know, whether or not that's, whether or not it really should be you who reaches out first, you know, I can't, I don't know. Um, I don't know the situation, but that's how they feel. Because we have the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups can be about indecision, uncertainty. It's like um, the the person in this card is being offered another cup, but they're like, mm, I don't know if I want that cup. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of like they would like to reach out to you because I feel very strongly that they definitely have things to say to you. Um, but also there's this sense like they don't want to be the one to reach out first. You know, they want it to be you because they think that you need to uh, apologize about something. But when you do have contact with each other, they, uh, I'm getting the sense that they kind of want to fight. Um, there's something that they feel very strongly about, uh, something that may have happened between you. Uh, with the page of page of wands and the seven of wands, it's like they are feeling fired up. They have a lot of thoughts. They have a lot of opinions about it, and they want to fight. Man, they're ready. Like they're ready to throw hands. Almost, you know, not literally. I hope not. Anyway, um. But, but they're ready to, to lay into, lay into you about something, you know, they're ready to express themselves. And again, they're not, like, they're trying to have a good time, they're trying to enjoy themselves, but they're still unable to let this situation go. They're still holding on to it real tight. Um, even though they, you know, they tell themselves that they, that they don't care that they're over it or they're, they, you know, that they want to get over it. But it's also like, mm, they don't really want to get over it. They, <laughs> they want to keep holding on to it. I feel like this is somebody who may, um, in some strange way, enjoy being angry. <laughs> if that makes any sense. You know anybody like that? Have you ever met someone who like that? Because I have. Um, anyway. As far as the potential outcome here, we got some interesting cards. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the High Priestess. So, um, both of these cards, both of these figures, the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, are very spiritual. They're very um, intuitive figures. Uh, so, I, I feel like some of you guys may actually have some type of psychic connection with this person and you could potentially be communicating that way like telepathically and not know about it um i need to i need to pull out some more cards for this let's see why are it, why is the queen of cups and high priestess here as the potential outcome Knight of Pentacles, okay, so, so Seven of Cups and the Five of Swords. So this, again, is another card about conflict. So, you know, when you guys do get back in touch with each other, I do, I am seeing that they are going to, um, it's not exactly going to be a peaceful exchange, okay? Um, but... You know, Knight of Pentacles, this is, you know, communication on its way. But Pentacles, of course, are slow-moving energy. So it's like, with these two cards, I do think that you're going to resolve this issue that you have, whatever it is. But 
that actual resolution of the issue is going to be pretty slow coming. Like, it's not going to happen for a while. Okay. Um, because there's still just too much. Like, I feel like the feelings are just too fresh for you or them or both of you. And, you know, they are not ready to, like, let it go. So, the actual resolution to this problem is going to be quite some time in the distance, you know, in the future. However, um, will they contact you? Yes, I think so. And I think that's going to happen probably within the next few weeks, okay? So, I think you can expect to hear from them within the next few weeks. But, again, the, the actual, you know... <laughs> resolution of the problem is going to be much later after that. Um, we did get the temperance card that came out and um, the number on this card is 24. So the number 24 could have some significance to you. It could be um, also if you add uh, the numbers 2 and 4 together you get 6. So it could be that um, this problem is resolved six months from now or in the month of June or something like that okay so group number three that is your reading um I hope that it resonated with you I hope you enjoyed it uh feel free to let me know your thoughts I do love to hear from you guys um thanks so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video and we're going to move on now to the last group Okay, group number four, if you chose the codependency card, what's going on with your person? Why have you not had contact with each other? All right, so the overall energy in this situation is the lover's card. So, um, I am feeling as if you and this person could have a soul connection um, or there has been some kind of decision that needs to be made or already has been made, or there could be a third party involved, which given these other cards here seems likely. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now that this reading is not so great, okay, and I'm, I really don't like that because it's like, why does the reading for the negative card have to be negative? It's like, that's so, that's so predictable, um, and it's like, it's not like I chose the, the, the cards to choose from, you know. Uh, anyway, spirit did that, not me. So, um, okay. What has your person been doing? Why have they not been contacting you? We have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. So, I'm getting the sense that your person has been involved with some other people. Okay. They, um... I feel like they might just be, like, casually dating, you know, um, but, you know, whatever the case, they've been, they've been trying to dip their toes into something new, okay? And another reason why they haven't contacted you is because I think that they feel a sense of indifference about your connection with them, okay? Um, because, you know, the Queen of Swords is kind of an icy energy. She's she's distant, you know, she's kind of, she can come off as really apathetic and cold, and I just feel like they feel apathetic about this situation that, with you. Um, and we also have the devil card, so I feel like they've been kind of occupying their time a lot with, you know, just having fun, you know, hedonistic uh, activities, <laughs> um, you know, partying, having a good time, whatever. And I feel like whatever the situation with you was or is, they have moved on from it, honestly. Now, 
Do they want to contact you? I feel like they kind of do because we have the Three of Cups and we have the Hierophant. So Three of Cups, again, can be an indicator of a third party involved. And I feel like with these two cards together, it feels like they have an interest in contacting you because they want to let you know that they are kind of over it you know they want to let you know that they've moved on that they are uh in involved in other things now all right um because like for their intentions we have the temperance card and this card is about you know healing so it feels like they want to give you closure Okay, they want to contact you and let you know what they what's been going on with them because they want they want to give you closure so that you can move on as well, which is actually quite considerate, I guess. Um for the potential outcome, we have the 4 of swords and we have the 8 of cups. So, uh, I'm seeing this as you group 4 um as you guys kind of retreating and taking time to yourself to recover from this and like you know reflect on it and eventually moving on yourself okay now as far as timing goes for when you might hear from this person we have the knight of wands so the Knight of Wands is pretty fast moving energy, so I'm feeling like um, you could hear from this person within the next couple of weeks, you know, maybe like two to two to three weeks from now, or I'm feeling summertime. So if you're watching this like when it's uploaded, it could be two to three weeks or it could be during the summer or, you know, use your intuition, you know, whatever feels Whatever feels right to you, okay, um, take that interpretation. Now, you guys got four oracle cards, which everybody else only got two, so um, they have more things to, to say to you guys. So, the first card that came out was uh, finances and career. Um, I hope you can't hear that. Uh, somebody's outside shoveling the snow, and it's kind of loud, so I hope that's not distracting or anything. Anyway... Um, the first card that came out was finances and career. So this is saying um, that now is a good time to focus your attention on your career, okay? Um, and maybe, you know, give relationships a, a rest for the time being. Um, because, like, you deserve love and you deserve to be with somebody who will love you the way that you deserve to be loved, all right? You know what I'm saying? Um, and you just have to trust that this situation with this person happened the way that it happened for a reason, okay? Trust that this wasn't all for nothing, okay? Um, because I think that there is some lesson here to be learned and, you know, that what, what whatever that lesson is, it's going to be different for each of you. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's important to let your friends to help you, okay? Um... Don't completely isolate yourself, you know, you got to maintain your friendships, you got to, you know, continue to um, put yourself out there and, you know, continue to meet new people and try new things and, you know, you're going to be able to recover from this, um, definitely, you just, it's going to be easier to do and it's going to go faster if you if if you don't allow yourself to become, you know, like a hermit and, you know, lock yourself away and not speak to anyone, okay? Because that's, that's not going to help you, all right? Um, so, group number four, that is pretty much all the messages that I'm getting for you guys today. Um, again, I'm sorry that this is kind of a negative reading. But I, I have to tell you what the cards are telling me, okay? So, I hope that this resonated with you. Please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think. I do love to hear from you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. 
and love and um, comments and views and all of that stuff. And um, if you're from a previous group and you're still here, thank you so much for sticking around. It means a lot to me. Like I said at the beginning, I'm going to do my best to get back into a regular upload schedule. I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to do two videos per week again. I just, I've been getting behind with, you know, life stuff and I've gotten quite a few um, personal readings uh, that I've been doing the past couple weeks, so that's been keeping me pretty busy too. And um, anyway, yeah, personal readings are available. My Etsy store link is in the description box below where you can buy one for yourself. Also, I have a PayPal link if you would like to donate a couple dollars to the channel to help me um, improve the channel, buy new decks, um, recording equipment, stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time, guys. Bye!